I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Uh, welcome back, guys. And today we're back with another Detroit Become Human. Oh, I gotta check my mic working. One second. We're good. Um. Wait. Are you sure you should continue? Maybe. Maybe we should leave things as they are. The frick? Come on. Okay. That was weird. Okay. So I gotta take care of an old disheveled nutsack right now. Forgot about that. Let me just go get him up. So audio should be way better in this video because I got my mic. Morning, Carl. Good morning. Sorry, guys. Just gotta check. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh yes, I forgot. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress. I'm sorry, guys, let me grab my really big androids. blanket. It's really comfy right now. I hope they didn't hey. harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Once I got some moved, I got to check. We're going good. Okay, I was gonna check if my recording's still going. Is he taking a pee right now? Man, I just, I'm a robot, just watch the old guy pee. Okay. It's pretty nice. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> oh. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, hey. don't bother. I don't know who the little guy is, but I guess Carl don't like him. Oh, let's see. Dude, what the freak? Where am I headed? I'm here. Okay, I'm going. I'm going in here. But Carl can't go downstairs. It's whatever, Carl. Go. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Carl can go downstairs. I'm gonna race Carl. I beat Carl, even though he's on the freaking machine. Let's go. Let's go. I'm good at this game, and I'm not even really know how to play this game. Wait, one second. Birds. Birdies. Oh, it's not that. Never mind. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. See, Marcus seems like a good, good, a good dude, even though he's a freaking robot. I swear. One second. I really got you. Serve breakfast. Where is the breakfast? In here. Man, it's a nice house for some old dude. Dude, I want to live here. It's like a freaking mansion. It's rich people stuff too. You know why? Because he's a rich person. You can freaking tell he's old. All rich people are always old. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Marcus. I'm baking it's eggs with like dookie water. My mom makes better. Uh, see, that's why. People are better, better than androids because my mom makes some freaking monster. Uh, bro, she made some like pan pancakes with bacon inside of it, and that was the best crap I ever had in my life. Sure. See, that's okay. why people are better than robots. Shoot, bro, I'm finna go read a book. Something. Watch TV. Guess I gotta read a book. Pluto. What is this? Fitness speed run this book. Never mind. What are you reading? He speed run Eden. Republic. It's one of the books you recommended. So what do you think? I quite like philosophy, I think. It asks the questions that I can't answer. You know, what is right or what is wrong, for example. It's not something that is so easy to decide. Asking questions that have no answers is part of being human, Marcus. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. Man, I'm take care of you. What are you talking about, bro? Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Dang. I was trying to play this game. You throw a whole freaking quote on me. Like, I'm tired of people saying, oh, you'll be yourself. But dang, bro. Carl could put it, put it down. Put it down straight. Oh, my gosh. Dude, is everything robots in this freaking... Like, isn't this like 2038? That's not long at all from now. What's long? What's long away? But, dude. All we have right now is freaking... Skibbity off. toilet. Remove the sheet. All we got is skibbity toilet. When we can be having this crap. Robots. Robot. Robotic freaking... Curtains, dude. Come on, man. At this point, I'm playing Housewife Simulator.
fuck no more. Oh yeah, I remember from the last time I played. Why did I unlock an option to, you know, like, use a gun? <laughs> what even is that? What's your verdict, Marcus? I'm not programmed to criticize art. I, you would be a much better judge than I would. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Dang. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Uh. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Yes, try, yes I do. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Speed run this painting. I'm just kind of like swapping all over my freaking D pad right now, or my touch pad, whatever you call it. Let's go. What the freak? That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing mm. something you see. Okay, Carl, I don't. I think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Try that canvas. It's a big canvas. I can never paint on that. Do um... something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. What kind of quick come event is this? That doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how what it makes you What doesn't exist? And let your hand drift across the canvas. Identity. Prisoner. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Who's this guy? Looks like a freaking drug addict. Hey dad. Looks like Jesse from hey, Breaking Bad. Oh, it's Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You alright? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No, 
No, no, I swear it's not that. Uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Dang. Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know yeah. what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. Ooh. You've never loved anyone. He you said the GD me. word. Get out of here, Leo. You never loved me. Leo's about to pee himself. Uh, uh, no. What's his face? He's about to pee himself. I can just tell by the face he's making. He's making that old man pee face. I gotta get him out of here. Please tell me. Am I back? B back in Connor? Let's go. I can just tell that's Connor. Yeah. Yeah. Give me more. I love Connor. And I just started the game. Von L.T. Anderson. Who is this guy? Who's L.T. Anderson? Oh, what's this guy doing? Well, no, he's not the guy because he's a black guy I just saw while I'm walking in. Uh, this guy, is he Lieutenant Anderson? That's Dempsey. It's a freaking guy for Call of Duty, right? That's a black guy. What's this old guy doing here? Yeah. Oh. Sweet. Alright. Turn around, Connor. What are you doing, man? Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. So let me adjust and check my mic. You see if it's even working. We're good. Case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance okay. with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. <gasps> I don't need any assistance. This game is very pretty. Not from a plastic asshole like you. Except for the hair. The hair is not. Get the fuck out of here. Actually, no, the hair is pretty good. Uh, I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now okay. Back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Let's go. I got approval from Hank. I like this old guy already. Dang. Is this is this the girl Android's house? Yo, I got respect for this guy already. Well, no, not really. I thought that's not the type of songs I like. Say, Lieutenant. 
Let's go. More Hank. More approval from Hank. Okay, he just told me to stay here. Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. So, jump button, there's no shoot button, just walk. <laughs> the victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated Thanks. assault. I got turned to a zombie, bro. The neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. What's this? Red ice. I'll stay these in. But worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could okay. Until morning. So red ice is drugs, I guess. Weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife okay, over Okay, coroner. There Probably we go. The murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Man, car, you should get straight to the freaking point. Oh. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back. What do we know about his hand? Not much. <gasps> the neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I got it. Okay. Some... Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. It's a little inappropriate. Well, there shouldn't be any inappropriate stuff in this game. in here more trap bud chair signs of a struggle so like I guess dude getting stabbed and then this is Dent uh, and some fingerprints. <sighs> so, while well, he's going to through the same thing. The dude that that jumped off the building did. Oh, oh blood. <sighs> What's this? Okay, I think I'm done here. Let's find some actual, like, you know, evidence. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, is this written in the victim's blood? But this robot's writing so, so good, it's not even humanly. That's insane. Wow. like the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Uh... Hey, Mike, you 
finish taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh. Dude does look like a zombie. Man, he got that red eyes half, half, hanging off half eyes nose. He didn't look too pretty when he was alive either. Dang. 28 knife wounds. Dang. And fingerprints. Saying it's 28 though, that's a little crazy. He was drunk too. <sighs> Kitchen. He was stabbed twenty eight times. No crap. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Um, or port to Hank. Where's Hank at? Hank, could we? <sighs> Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, uh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the, in the kitchen. kitchen. One second, guys, let me check something. We're all good. There are obvious signs of a struggle. Question is, what exactly happened here? Uh, I think I, I know. think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. <laughs> the android stabbed the victim. Trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> All right. The robo out here. Uh oh. I'm second, guys. I gotta check my microphone. There's nothing here. Door was locked. All right. Back from the inside. We're all good, I'll set. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time.
I got some tight speed run this game. What's this? RA9. All right, um, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. This video's getting kind of long.